Hey guys, it's me, Pence Pence. <laughs> Only I get to call you Pence Pence. So even I can't even call myself Pence Pence? That's right. But you are allowed to, like, call me Matizzi Monster. Yeah, not gonna do that. Anyway, you viewers know that I, as a drawing utensil, love leaving my mark yeah! on things. Well, in just a few hours, a place on the internet is about to open its gates. And if you watch BFDI, you can help us BFDI folks leave our mark on one of the biggest art collabs ever. It's called r slash place on reddit.com and here's how it works. They start us off with a blank 1000 by 1000 pixel canvas. And then every Reddit user can only edit one pixel every five minutes. Not only that, but the pixel you just edited could potentially be overwritten by any other user while your five minute cooldown is happening. This means that if you want to draw an image of a meaningful size, you have to collaborate with others. And that's what subreddits are great for. So, r slash place actually first occurred five years ago, from April 1st to 4th, 2017. Back then, Michael and Carrie, my voice actor, met up with their childhood friend Sam to watch the whole thing unfold from his apartment. Unrelated to us, some BFDI fans, love ya, actually built an H-Twin Central monument in r slash place back then, but it sadly got overwritten by the more powerful Taskbar crew. The huge news happening now is this! r slash place is coming back on April 1st, 2022! That's according to this Reddit announcement post by you slash crowd pleaser from a few days ago! There's a small chance that even this post could be an elaborate April Fool's joke, but assuming it's not, let's have fun with it! I'm thinking we, as the Object Show community, could display ourselves proudly with something like this low-res picture of Fiery. Or maybe if you're more into the Algebraelians like me, you'll prefer this image of me, X, that Carrie actually used in a Minecraft livestream last year to create a life-size shrine of me, I mean statue of me. Either way, it's up to you, the community, to decide what to draw. But yeah, the main goal is to get any symbol that represents BFDI onto 2022's r slash place canvas and have it stick so that the rest of the internet can see it for all of posterity. Either way, head over to the r slash battle for dream island subreddit, link in the description. And that's where people can voice their opinions, coordinate group projects, come to consensus, and communicate info, like which coordinates to draw at. And of course, please be kind to each other. We are all just here to have fun and goof off, and this r slash place project isn't all that serious, so there's no need to start fights. Respect your fellow human, be courteous, be civil, follow the rules, follow common sense, you get the idea. Okay, now let's do some math. To compare the BFDI subreddit to the Minecraft subreddit five years ago, when it defended its 150 pixels from vandalism with its 459,000 subscribers. The BFDI subreddit is less than 1 30th the size, so proportionally speaking, our little corner of the internet will only be able to defend 4 or 5 pixels, so maybe our goals should be a little more modest. Huh. But hey, maybe we can exceed expectations if you viewers really pull through in numbers with your pixel clickings. I mean, you folks did help us beat the odds by winning the Cartoon Crave Award a few months ago, which I'm super grateful, you guys are amazing. So, incredible things can happen on the internet, I believe in us. Anyway, best of luck everyone, and I'll see you on the subreddit side of things. Bye bye Also, did you know that the same guy who created r slash place created Wordle? That's one talented developer, I mean like, what the fun game! <laughs> Whoa! Rocky! Wake up! Whoa! Hi, Essie! <gasps>